Okay guys, so here we'll be unboxing a Manitowoc 16,000. This one was $4.99. And honestly, it's just been a pain. Because first UPS thought it was lost and they couldn't find it. And then this morning I checked the tracking information and it said that it was out for delivery. So it's just been a big, big headache. I don't know if it was coming. UPS didn't, UPS couldn't find it. But it arrived, so I'm happy about that. This one is the uh, the standard red version. There's the box it comes in. Big red Manitowoc box. Produced by TWH 150th scale. A lot smaller box than the 18,000. Seen that unboxing video. Now, the first thing you get in the box is your assembly guide and uh, your ladder replacements. Uh, the assembly is pretty much set forward. So, on the top of the box, you got this. This only comes with a boom. I really wish they they made a luffer for it. After seeing two of them with a luffer, it's just a lot cooler. Your tool kit, and I've always found that the glue just dries out because it's been sitting for so long. So here, you have your windmill tip. The 16,000s were built for building windmills, so I guess they just decided to build it in that configuration. Here is the boom head, or the tip. Over here we have one boom section with the rubber pieces so the line doesn't uh, drag along it. Pretty nicely made sections, I gotta say. Over here... It's what I believe is the, the butt of the boom, yeah, it is, or the, the start of the boom. And also the drum for the main block. And I'm pretty sure this is if you run a luffer on it, but like I said, they didn't make a luffer, but you could put the 18,000s luffer on it. In the corner over here, I don't even know what this is. Oh, these are the counterweights. I believe it has six of them on each side. Okay, here's, all right, yeah, no, seven. I don't know, six or seven. Here's a, a stack for one side. Now we cut the box. And obviously the body is underneath here, and I believe more boom sections. The model itself is actually taller than the 18,000, but obviously not as near close in capacity. Okay. So here's more boom. Two more 40 foot sections. Another 40 foot section. You can see it goes nice and tall for windmills. Pendant lines or the straps for the booms. More weights. The cab. And uh, just ladders in here or steps. This it uh, the hooks. And extra track links, and of course, I'll get to now the actual car body or the base of it, whatever you want to call it, on the carriage. So here it is. I could tell you from actually 
being on one, it is absolutely massive in person. The model itself is huge as well. It's just, it's just a very, very large crane. 440 ton capacity. And uh, what video I'll probably put up next is the assembly of it. And then uh, a review. But there it is.